But I, I think this will probably come down to local law enforcement um, being involved in a, a local political decision to kill Donald Trump. When, when I was at the UN, we have what, what's called the um, General Assembly debate every September. All the heads of states come in. And I had uh, an office on the 31st floor looking out over First Avenue, uh, which the president of the United States will come down. He'll make entry into the United Nations and you know, he will come out, entry in, make his speech, and then exit and then leave. But when they the uniform secret service comes in, they they do everything. I mean, they weld the, the manhole cover shut, they they get down into the sewer system, seal it off. But the interesting thing is from where am I where I'm at, I have a vantage point from that window that I could take a shot and kill the president of the United States. Um, so they have people across the street in the Tudor Hotel. And they've gone in and they've, they really, I watch them, you just sit there and you're, you're you know, writing on you know, next weapons inspection and you're watching the secret service come to every window, open it up and they sit there and they look at the, the, the field of fire. They look down and they look over. His point is, this is like the polar opposite of what was done at this Trump rally. As I, as I said yesterday, I don't really have a dog in this race because I don't think much changes if Trump uh, was were assassinated. I also don't think, you know, because the U.S. machine would continue uh, pace, would continue pretty similarly. I, I will say that, you know, I, I like to cover things where we don't feel it doesn't feel like we're getting the truth. And the level of either incompetence, you know, I think the two options are either they were in on it or there was mass incompetence. But the level, let's assume it's incompetence of incompetence is breathtaking. You've got like one or two rooftops. There were not a lot of roofs in the in this area. You got one or two rooftops and you don't check those and shut them off so that they can't be accessed. And then in the clip I played earlier, you, you someone says, hey, there's a guy with a gun on that rooftop and it takes you several minutes before you do anything about it. And basically you don't do anything about it until he's shot at the president. And so, you know, this is something I couldn't have known, which is why I wanted to bring on someone like Scott Ritter is that when they have the president somewhere at the UN or whatever, they, they like they're checking every sight line, every rooftop, every window that could have a shot. It's a, just a very like hundred percent different situation as they clearly did at this Trump rally. They checked everything out. Now, this is a rally of a presidential candidate. He doesn't have the full Secret Service detail. Um, a lot of the, the protection is farmed out to local law. They have state police. You know, then you get the local police, uh, things of that nature, um, which is OK. But there should be a Secret Service supervisor there. Uh, still, you have to have the connectivity of communication. How they, the hell? Yeah, they should have met multiple times. Hours they should know each other by name, by voice, by whatever. Exactly. Um, how does how does a guy with a gun get in your perimeter? During the event. As it's During started. the event, get up on the roof. And approach. These are things that you know. I don't want to get into speculation here because then it starts getting crazy. Well, but oh well, no, well you we know, Let's discuss what the possible scenarios are. That, that's not as irresponsible as saying you for sure that it was you know some kind of a assassination plot. <laughs> I just, I like that moment because basically Scott Ritter says let's not get into speculation, and then Jeff his uh, his his co-host says. Without using the word, he goes, no, let's get into speculation. <laughs> Scott, Scott Ritter's like, I don't want to get into speculation. Well, 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 we won't do that, but let's speculate on what happened. Now, here's the thing. I'm fine with getting into speculation. I don't give a shit. To, like, let's speculate. Now, as he said, you can't say for sure. You get, oh, they definitely were doing this. But but I guess one one possibility would be not the Secret Service agents who obviously risked their lives, but maybe somebody within the Secret Service was in on it. Another possibility, as you guys have said, is incompetence. I've also heard a lack of manpower. Do you think that could be it? It's not, no. a, it's not a big no. area, though, at you, all. Yeah, yeah, you don't need a lot of people to check out the roof, right? First of all, every, every, local, every local law enforcement agency um, is volunteering for this work. There's no lack of manpower. The Secret Service puts out the call for help, and they will be inundated. The problem is, you want to make sure you have the right people. There's three. There's three scenarios, Jeff. One is that this is a uh, the Secret Service trying to kill Donald Trump. That this was a setup. Uh, two is, is incompetence. You know, pure, 100% unadulterated incompetence. Um, 
and then, the, then there's there's middle ground where the Secret Service isn't involved. It could be local, um, you know, uh, you know, a local cop gone bad. Somebody. Well, right. So he says it wouldn't take much manpower. You have everybody volunteering for this job, but the problem is what kind of quality are these people volunteering? If you have the good old boy cops uh, in wherever this was, Pennsylvania, the hills of Pennsylvania, uh, they might not be the best, uh, <laughs> the best at, at, uh, at, at nailing down a presidential event. So you could easily have a level of incompetence. Now, if the Secret Service were actually as good as they're supposed to be, you would assume that a they wouldn't ever rely on some idiot to do half their job. That could be a lack of manpower in that way. But on top of it, you should be able to suss out if you're so great at being sacred secret service, suss out where the holes are, where local law enforcement might fail you. Hey, they might fail to stop someone getting on that roof. They, they might fail to alert us when there's a dude with a gun walking around looking kind of sketchy. The other, the other reason it seems pretty unlikely that the Secret Service would be in on this, unless it were someone really high up, that, but, but that was, you know, and then the lower level Secret Service are not in on it, but uh, is that, A, any of them could have gotten shot. I mean, five shots were fired. It killed one person in the audience. They go running to Donald Trump after the first shots or whatever. And so they're in the line of fire. So they'd have to be in on something that could kill them, which seems unlikely. Uh, the other thing is, if it had succeeded, I mean, it still made them look like fools. But if it had succeeded, the entire Secret Service would probably be disbanded and created anew. I mean, if you have full Secret Service detail and you're executed, I would imagine some heads were probably rolled after the JFK assassination. But so it seems unlikely. Now, there could be a lot of other people that are in on it, but I think the odds of it being the Secret Service that's in on it seems kind of unlikely. Somebody let this guy into the perimeter with a gun. Somebody let this guy into the perimeter with a gun. Uh, I don't, you know, I don't know the, 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 how the veracity, but I, they were showing photographs on Twitter that showed a ladder that was, that was already pre-positioned for someone to climb up on the roof. How the hell did that happen? And yeah. when it was going up the ladder, Scott, uh, there was apparently a police officer that was crossing under who looked at him and he shared yeah. he he displayed his rifle at him. He brandished it and he left and he still went up. He didn't say that very clearly, but I'd heard that from other reports that a cop saw this guy with a gun somehow approached him or approached the ladder. The guy basically either shows him the gun or points the gun at him. It's unclear. And that cop then walks away. Now, that cop might have walked away thinking, I need to get some reinforcements or something, but it didn't happen. So either that cop, again, is incompetent or he was fooled by once he saw a gun, he was like, oh, that must be Secret Service. The guy's got a gun. But that, again, is incompetence like you moron yeah uh, like a cop or whomever saw the guy but maybe thought he was just a spectator who was just getting in a position to watch the rally right. not well, that not that's a good excuse but i'm not, not, I'm not saying that's a, not if he yeah. was briefed by the secret service and they were all briefed by the secret service there's a literal meeting because again they did it in new york city where the the new york the, the nypd the 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 security from the united nations um they're all there, and the Secret Service is briefing them. And we all get sort of a preliminary, like, you know, yeah. the place where you stay the hell out of it, gun pre-planned on site. I don't know. Yeah. But the point is, yeah. all of that, the gun pre-planted on site, no. Where's the sweep? Where's the group coming in, sweeping beforehand, sealing the area off once it's Always swept? Do that. Always you know, do that. So I'm, I, you know, I, I hate speculating, but I, I think this will probably come down to local law enforcement um, being involved in a, a – a, a local political decision to kill Donald Trump uh, that the secret service wasn't involved because I, I can't, you know, I just don't want to go down that route, but the secret service, it, first of all, incompetence doesn't work. You can't be that incompetent. So I'm not going to buy any incompetence theory. Uh, it may come out that they were incompetent, but again, all the things this would require every single law enforcement officer and secret service officer and state per to forget basic protocols, to forget uh, the, the, the yeah. basics. This isn't, this isn't that somebody failed on a technical issue. This is the basics of, event security this is the kind of stuff that you would fire the guys that wear the yellow shirts to say security in the back you know the, the rent the rent of security guys yeah, you yeah. would fire them for incompetence for not doing this <laughs> so that's probably the most interesting part of what scott ritter says is that yes there could have been some incompetence but this level to allow this guy to walk around to allow him up on the roof to once he's on the roof and people are alerting you to the fact that he's on the roof doing nothing about it uh all like like so many things for so much incompetence 
Uh, Scott Ritter is saying he doesn't buy that and that he feels like it's going to come out that it was a local law enforcement choice, um, which is pretty, pretty bold. Uh, I guess a bold view. Uh, yeah, I, I like I wouldn't know enough about securing these premise premises in an event like that to say for certain incompetence versus pre pre planned, but. Uh, the people who know more about securing premises seem to think that you could not have this level of incompetence. <laughs>